Hi all, welcome to Amrita AS Academy. We are back with a, our program Learn Seaside through PYQ with an another topic that is coding and decoding. This is the most simplest topic of UPSC Seaside paper because all the, the questions are extremely simple and every student can solve these questions by paying very little attention while reading the questions and understanding what actually the question demands. So, there is no uh, shortcut or equations or anything to solve such questions. So, do you have to practice such questions while preparing your mock test. Clear? Okay, once again, welcome to the program Learn CSAT through PYQs. We are straight away moving to the questions. There are just three questions. Let us go with the first question. The first question reads, in a certain chord, 256 means red color chalk. A 589 means green color flower, 245 means white color chalk. What did it, digit in that code does mean white? Okay. First thing, 256 means red color chalk. Okay. Second one, 589 means green color flower. Okay. Green color flower the next is 245 means white color chalk 254 means white color chalk white color chalk okay so the the first thing 256 is decoded as or red color chalk is decoded as 256 Green color flower is decoded as, is, uh, sorry, is coded as 589. White color chalk is coded as 254. Clear? Okay. We have to first understand the each respective code number of a term. For example, in the first case, red color chalk is coded with 256. Then for the last one, white color chalk is coded with what? 254. And the second case, green color flower is coded with the 589. See, take the first and two second one. The first one is red color chalk. Second one is green color flower. What is common here? Color is common here. While looking into the coded one, the first is 256, second is 589. What is common here? 5 is common here. Which means that color can be coded, color is coded with the 5. Here also, this color is coded with the 5. Okay. Now, look the first and third one. If you look the first and third one, the first one reads red color chalk coded with the 256. The third one, white color chalk coded with the uh, what 254. And we know that color is coded with the 5. What is common with the, the first one and third one? It is chalk. The term is chalk and what is the code is common? The code is 2. So, I can say that chalk is coded with what? 2. Here, chalk is here. Chalk is coded with a 2. Then we can say white is coded with what? White is coded with a, we can choose different color. White is coded with what? 4. Uh, so, this that's that's enough. What the question is actually, what digit in that code does mean white? What digit in that code does mean white? Yes, it's 4. So, answer for this question is option B4. So, first we found the, uh, the code of color. Then we found the code of chalk. From here, we can find the code for white. The code for white is 4. The answer for this question is option B. Simple question. Moving to next one. If L, S, J, X, V, C is the code for Mumbai, the code for Delhi is, okay, fine. L, S, J, X, V, C and it is coded as Mumbai. And we have to find the code for Delhi. Okay. See, 
code for Mumbai. Okay. So first we can write the Mumbai first. Okay, what is the code for Mumbai? L S J X V C. Okay. The code for Mumbai is L S J X V C. Okay. How does the co this code comes for Mumbai? Let's check. See M L the next word or the M minus 1 is what actually L. The preceding letter of M is L I J K L M. Clear? Okay. U minus 2 is S because S T U clear U minus uh, 2 is S U minus 1 is what T T minus 1 is what S M J J K L M so what we can say M minus 3 can be J then X X Y is that A so 4 then a V uh, S T U V W X Y Z A. So we can say A minus Y. Then for I, uh, what we can say C D E F G H I. So we can write I minus six is uh, C. By using this logic, we can uh, call the term Delhi. Okay, so the the code for D must be one the preceding letter D minus one that is what C. Then for E it must be uh, C D E. So also E must also be coded with the C. Then L minus three I J K L. So what will come here? What will come here? I will come here. For example, for third one it's J. K L M for I J K L is correct yes correct for H then I think this is enough no the first option contains C C I the last option contains C C I now we have to find the other two one for H uh, for third one it's H minus four that is I J sorry uh, F G H no possible D E F G H so yes D is here then H minus 4 is D so that D E F G H the fourth one so it must be C C I D C C I D for option A let's check the what we, what is the last one the last one I minus 5 clear yes I minus 5 what is I minus 5 it's D why because D E F G H I I minus 5 is D. So, the code for Delhi is C C I D D. So, the answer for this question is option A. Clear? Okay. Simple question. Moving to next one. If R A M O N is written as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and D I N E S, the Dinesh, as 6, 7, 5, 8, 4, 9, then Hamam will be written as. First of all, let's code Ramon is written as 1 2 3 4 5 and Dinesh Dinesh is written as 6 7 5 8 4 9 clear ok uh, so we have to code First, we have to find the code for H. The code for H is 9. So, 9. Then, he, we have to find the code for A. The code for A is actually 2. Then, it will be 2. Also, here, a, a, uh, the code for A will be 2. Then, reminds M. The code for M is 3. So, it can be coded as 3, here also 3. So, then code for Hama will be 92323, 92323, yes, here it is, option B, 92323 is the correct answer. 
So answer for this question is option B. Hammam can be coded as 92323. Simple question? Yes. That's the end of the questions from the topic coding and decoding. The topic is extremely simple. You should not leave the question while, while writing the next prelims, UPSC prelims examination. So practice more number of questions from this particular topic so that you will be uh, maximize your speed for solving the questions. So we will be back with an, another topic. Till then, do practice. Have a nice day. Thank you. Amrita, IAS Academy.